So in this next section, we're going to talk about our I term, our integral term in this PID control. Now, the integral term is simply going to be a way that we can correct our steady state error as we're running through the uh, uh, whatever we're trying to control as we're running to that target value. Now, we know with our P term being too aggressive, we can get that rippling or oscillation effect when we're running up to that target over the long term. We're going to be using this I term to go in and actually dampen out that uh, oscillation or the rippling and make it track right to the target value. So if we look at our example here, we can see that we have three different lines. Now the first blue line here, that's going to represent uh, having our P term being very aggressive and having that overshoot in the oscillation start. And our I term is going to be very low, so we're not going to really correct for that at all. So next we see the brown line here, and that's going to be with our I term a, bit, a little bit higher. And we can see that we have some overshoot, but we start tracking down, we start getting it to come down to the target level that we want. And then we finally see here the, uh, the red line, and we're going to have our I term increase much higher. And we're going to see we're going to slow down our response a bit, but we're going to have it track right to our target for the long term. So the I, again, is going to be our long term uh, steady state error correction, and it's going to help us track to whatever we're trying to target. So an example, if we have boost, we're going to get rid of a boost oscillation. We're going to be able to have it go right to that target boost level that we want.